Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, today we have a battle box and this battle box wasn't supposed to happen um, But I have a extremely nice friend who is uh, somewhat of a neighbor who was able to pick it up at the old address So I am extremely grateful uh, That person is here, but does not want to be on camera. So I respect that um, I'm gonna rip through stuff just to kind of show you because it's also a million degrees. We're having a heat wave and uh, Actually, it's funny when I hear a heat wave. I always think of uh, grumpy old men and Walter Matthau, when he's singing a song, having a heat wave, a tropical heat wave, right? So anyway, uh, I know you guys don't want to hear me sing. Today's uh, EDC is a Provoke, so we're going to use this to zip open the small piece of tape. You could probably rip without a knife, but knives are fun. We'll probably keep using them. And we're just going to see real quick, like I said, what's going on with the box. And then uh, at the end, I'm going to give my very nice friend here something from the box. Because I greatly appreciate picking up for me. All right, ooh, what is this? Looks like a bag of peas, I know it's not. Clay ammo, that's interesting. So maybe there's a cool slingshot or something here. By the way, sorry for background noise, we got trucks and cars all up and down the hills. I'm in a random parking lot. So I, I apologize for that, background noise sucks. All right, so mission brief 113. Wow, 113 battle boxes already, can you imagine that? All right, you can pause there if you wanna read that from current 1776. And I don't want to look at it because I don't want to spoil anything. So let's see, what do we have here? I see a cool truck. What is this? Power on demand, high performance automotive jump starter and power pack. These are super handy. If you don't have a jump pack in your car, you should. I've used mine multiple times. Back when I had my Chrysler 200, I remember jumping myself at least two or three times because the factory battery died. And the battery on that vehicle was located all underneath the tire well. So I had to take the tire off, pull back the liner. It was a whole mess. Chrysler is not a good company. Uh, no offense to anyone who's still driving a Chrysler, uh, but my experiences were pretty poor. All right, so uh, there's all the specs on this guy. I'm not gonna open, like I said, I'm just kind of ripping through this real quick. Like I said, I don't want to take too much time up of my friend. And also it's super hot. But anyway, I, I do highly, highly recommend these. If you guys don't have one in your vehicle, uh, your family members vehicles these also make great Christmas gifts birthdays stuff like that so they just really come in handy it's one of those things you don't think you need it and then one day you do it'd be good to have it all right so we got some medical gear looks like here this is uh, ugh, all tightly wrapped um, can't even make out what that says let's see stretch this out all right Olane's modular bandage all right is a four inch for treatment of moderate hemorrhaging Okay, there's instructions. Again, advanced medical stuff, anything past the Band-Aid and some, you know, uh, antiseptic ointment. It's a good thing to have. Hopefully you never use it. Uh, what is this? All right, X100. We've seen this from Tactica. Survival lighter. Okay. Ooh, pretty cool. I like the bright orange. So again, we're going to have waterproof seals, you know, O-rings and so forth. I'm assuming it's a traditional style lighter. Oh, look at that. Right out of the box, the O-ring is no good. So luckily I saved 5 million O-rings from flashlights. So I'm gonna have to replace that to make sure it's actually gonna help in a survival situation. But yeah, you saw it on camera there, it's just dried out. Maybe just some storage. Ooh, I'll tell you what, I do like the fact that this is sealed on the bottom. It's actually really nice. So that uh, gas doesn't escape through the crack, especially maybe they knew the O-ring would go bad. <laughs> That's why they put a gap at the bottom. Who knows, but regular uh, liquid lighter fluid. All right, put your cap back on. And then right in your case here. I do like the orange case. I like the style and everything. It's a shame the O-ring broke. Again, not a huge deal for me because I have so many of them. But for the average person, you might not have O-rings sitting around. And that would be a no-go. You'd have to obviously reach out to the company and make sure they replace that for you. It's actually, I have to say, this is heavy though. This has got to weigh like three, three and a half ounces, four ounces, something like that. So, I mean, for the people who do super lightweight backpacking and such, maybe not the best option for a lighter. All right. Cat tongue. I've actually seen this before. I have not seen this. Looks like glow in the dark. Very, very cool. This stuff is awesome. The grip tape. Hold on one second. Because I'm in a parking lot, I don't want any garbage to go anywhere. All right, pop that. Okay. Let's shove that into the box. Littering is not good. All right. So, yeah, this stuff is really good. We've gotten this before in a previous box, but it was just clear. The glow in the dark is actually kind of cool. So, I dig that. All right. Here's a little uh, coupon code. I don't know if you guys can scan the QR code here. All right, 50% off soft tourniquet. So it's Battle Box, uh, or excuse me, yeah, Battle Box TQ50. All right, very cool. 
and there's two more things i see that might be our knife of the month but let's look at this so we do have a slingshot a scout x from simple shot very cool so it comes with ammo the clay ammo i don't think i've ever had before the steel bbs obviously that actually does quite a bit of damage uh, more than you might think um, but the clay that's new to me and they gave you extra of the ammo 500 pieces that's a lot of practice and looks like some spinning targets you can put online which is really really cool love it all right so last thing we have a knife brooder bsd designed by bsd i am not familiar with this i like the tube though reminds me of gec which everyone loves all right let's see here warning very sharp i hope so all right nice little uh, presentation well, this one looks really nice wow green canvas my car on the back maybe titanium feels like looks like stainless steel let's see a little flipper pretty smooth action lockups very good vg10 blade nice pocket clip it rides on the, the smooth metal so it shouldn't be a problem carrying here's a liar lock does feel like it's on bearings which you can kind of see through there i don't know about you on the angle i'm giving you guys but yeah pretty sweet vg10 locks up good nice design dual color i like it so yeah that's uh that's pretty much it for this month's battle box thanks for watching uh sorry for the kind of rush job here but again the background noise everything i don't want to hold up too much time um that's pretty much it i hope you guys uh enjoyed the video thank you for watching and uh i'll let you know in the comments what my friend picks there's some pretty cool stuff this month so we'll see anyway that's it thanks for watching hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video Take care.